In Australia, we're free of many emergency animal diseases, which means we can have confidence in the food that we eat here in Australia and also in the products that we send and export overseas. We're free of many emergency animal diseases, for example, foot and mouth disease. And that freedom relies on active and passive surveillance strategies that we've got running here in Australia. Our active surveillance strategies involve collection of information by veterinary authority. Then we've got passive surveillance and that involves every single person that plays a role in livestock industries making sure that they report any signs of animal diseases which might be of risk to Australia. As we're currently free of diseases such as African swine fever, we want to ensure that these diseases are detected as they reach our shores because they could have devastating impacts for not just our economy, economy but for potentially human health as well. So how can farmers do their bit for surveillance? Well, if anything, just keep doing what you're doing, going about your day and checking on your animals. But please make sure you contact us if you notice anything out of the ordinary. So signs can be potentially really vague or subtle all the way through to extremely obvious. You might see signs such as lameness or for example excessive salivation in animals. You might see nervous signs such as um, staring or changes in behaviour. You might see decreased reproductive rate at pregnancy testing or scanning and also but, but to be honest anything out of the ordinary, if you're checking your animals regularly, you should probably check with your veterinarian or on the EAD hotline. The Emergency Animal Disease Watch hotline is like the triple zero for our livestock industries. And we as veterinarians use it as well. So out of ours, if we have any emergency cases such as anthrax that we need to send samples off to, we'll call this hotline as well.